Mr. Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley. Hugh Beaumont. Tony Dow. And Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. intelligence tests? Well, sure, lots of them. Well, what kind of junk will they ask me? Well, uh, they might show you a picture with a whole bunch of houses, and then you gotta pick the one that doesn't have a chimney on it. Well, how would I do that? Well, heck, Beaver, if you can't tell a house that doesn't have a chimney on it, you shouldn't even be walking around. <laughs> well, what else will they ask me? Well, they, uh, they might ask you if you saw a little girl in the street crying, what would you do? Well, I don't know, I never mess with little girls. <laughs> Beaver, you're supposed to say you would ask her if she was lost and then take her to a policeman. Yeah, I guess I could say that. Even if I wouldn't do it. Beaver, you better snap out of it or you're going to goof up that intelligence test. Well, I guess if I ended up in dumb school and couldn't go to college, Dad would be pretty mad at me, huh? Well, sure he would. He took out a whole insurance policy just to send you to college. And heck, if you double cross him, he's liable to kill you. You know what, Dad? It's funny. What's funny? Well, whenever we cook inside, Mom always does the cooking. But whenever we cook outside, you always do it. How come? Well, it's sort of traditional, I guess. You know how they always say, woman's place is in the home? Uh, well, as long as she's in the home, she might as well be in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> hey, Gus. Why do they call it a nozzle, anyway? Well, the person who named it must have thought it looked like a nozzle more than anything else. Hey Gus, when you were younger, did you have a big brother like me? Still do. Was he smart? Well, sure he was. My dad would say he's a smart one, meaning my brother, and he's a good-natured one, meaning me. Well, what happened? Did he go to college and become a doctor? No, but he did real well for himself. He made himself a whole pile of money. How? Well, he went on a fishing trip down Maine, and he saw a whole bunch of empty land. Nothing on it but what nature put on it. So, like I said, he was real smart. He bought 5,000 acres of land. What'd he do with it, Gus? Well, he didn't do nothing with it. When you got 5,000 acres of land, you don't do nothing with it. You let the land do the doing. When he needed cash, he just sold off some land. Most of the time, he was just loafing around. Gee, Gus, maybe that's what I'll do when I grow up. When I need a car, or a house, or a chocolate sundae, I'll just sell pieces of it. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't count on it, Beaver. Things is different these days. You gotta work for your money. You gotta do the doing. You gotta study hard, get a good job, work at it. Those easy days are over. Yeah. Boy, Gus, you sure were lucky being born in the easy days. I didn't know it was. Back then, I didn't have sense to know it was easy. Pretty lucky, don't they, Mom? Why do you say that? Well, they don't have to be smart. They don't have to get jobs or anything. All they gotta do is get married. <laughs> well, Beaver, being smart isn't exactly a drawback to marriage. Well, if they don't get married, they could become dressmakers, cut people's nails in a barber shop, take care of kids, and a lot of other dumb stuff. <laughs> well, Beaver, today, girls can be doctors and lawyers too, you know. They're just as ambitious as boys are. You mean there's no dumb people left in the world, Mom? <laughs> Beaver, is there something bothering you? Well, kind of, Mom. We have an intelligence test in school tomorrow, and I don't know if I'm going to pass it. Of course you will, Beaver. Your father passed it, and I got very good grades, too. You even had a grandfather that was a professor. He was considered a genius or something. Well, it's nice having all that smart stuff in the family, Mom. But I just hope it didn't wear out before it got to me. <laughs>